Hello, hello everyone! If the countless forces can't rewind Even then we'll fill this fan crisis going to be none other than Laser Reed Hello there, how are you doing today? Hello, I'm... Yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing alright Playing a little bit of Star Wars before this I'm almost forgetting the time right now. Uh, the commentary schedule right now, but hey, I'm doing alright. So this match is gonna be the match that's gonna be coming soon. It's gonna be between two pretty good players. Um, it's gonna be Swar versus Moshka. really hard to, you know, if, if I was in most child's position, it's really hard to, like, m like, I would say six maps are, like, in favor of Swar right now. Like, it's really hard to know which to ban. Well, that's true. And, huh. uh, or maybe even seven. Even, even with the ban, it's six. It's still six maps, so it's really hard. So he bans Hybrid 1, the... the you know the the Jackie oriented uh, hybrid. That's a bit of a strange ban. I would have thought LN three, LN two would have been. A, oh, sorry, I really thought LN one and LN three would have been better. But not to mention, I think I really think hybrids in general. I don't know. Like hybrids are something that Swire could probably choke on. So honestly, a very surprising ban from Mouse Shell. But regardless, okay, wait. Rice 3 is gonna be what Mao Xiao is gonna pick. I am not confident about this one. Like, I'm worried because I know that... I know that Mao Xiao can actually pick... Can actually act, but... I think Swar is also really good in that acting department, so... Alright, that's going to be a really risky one. It is very risky. Not... Uh, not a pick that I would, you know, recommend against Swar, but... Uh, I... If if he's confident in the the kind of accuracy that he can put out against Sword, then you know, I guess it 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 could be justified. But yeah, this is very risky. Well, hopefully we'll be able to like actually see how these two players are able to act. Okay, so wait a second, what's happening? Alright, I was a bit worried that something happened, but I guess not. Yeah, they just, they just have some cold hands. And as the MP start started, we'll be watching the first match, the first map on the first day of round of 16. And it's gonna be Rice 3. Again, Rice 3 was not something I really expected Mao Xiao to pick first. I was expecting something like Rice 1, or actually no, considering that that was a protect, maybe it was better for him to not pick this immediately. But now, this raises the question, what should they like, what should Mao Xiao even go for if let's say they win this? Should he go for Rice 4 then? Because honestly, Rice, rice 4 is Rice 4 is bad. I mean... Oh sorry, Rice 5, I meant Rice 5. Rice 5. Hmm, it's a bit... It's a bit tough right now. 
it is indeed a tough decision to make. So at the at the very least right now though, I can definitely say that um Mouse has a really comfortable lead, I'm surprised. I would have thought Swar would have dominated this. Mm, I guess the, the cold hands are affecting him, but either way this the act is still very close. Like a 0 0.0 one, it, it, there's no difference anymore. Like, there's not much of an act difference now, but like a slight act difference. The, the, the act difference is even lower than 0 0.01. That's how low the difference of accuracy is. And uh, we see a little bit of a of a um, advantage of accuracy by Swar. Most child right behind. Like, the, this is like we're in like the lower decimal. Uh, amount of difference and swore got us got themselves a 200 that is not good right now i mean it definitely isn't good like if you think about it what makes this more devastating is the mere fact that there's zero breaks on this file so the fact that there's zero breaks and that's another 200 from swar very unfortunate he cannot get keep on getting these 200 so otherwise really gonna reduce the chances of getting a win on this pick as Mao Shao, very consistent, though not racing that act just yet. Very consistent is much better than dropping, and there we go. Even a 0.01% means a lot. Swar dropping again, dropping a turn again. Yeah, and I guess this pick was actually justified. Like this, this pick that seemed so risky, they actually really had the advantage on this. Mao Shao, uh, just very consistently holding like the 99.87 like it's been they, they were holding that accuracy since the beginning I, would, I think yeah here's the thing though they're just considering again this has no breaks anything can still happen Mao Shao keeping that 99.88 Swire at 99.81 I see a few perfects that really could have dropped but okay this is when it starts to get that Swire dropping I think that's the nail in the coffin like that, those trills, the split trills, it did, it's not gonna help any bit. And I think Mausha was actually starting to gain. And just like that, very solid performance from Mausha. And Suari wasn't really that bad. Let's look at the UR. So that's 83 on Mausha. And I believe Suari at 93. Still really good ratios, but. Honestly, Mausha having the slight edge is already a good sign that. In terms of rice, at the very least, it's definitely on Mouse Shell's side right now. Yeah, right. very, very unexpected. Like, not something that we expected here. But Mouse Shell with, like, you know, really good accuracy. Uh, we knew that he was this good at accuracy, but uh, beating out Swore is not an easy feat. Even with cold hands, like, that is not something that you see every day that that um, you would beat uh, in terms of accuracy uh, swore and most shall strikes first after the rice three unexpectedly now it's gonna be swore's pick ln one that is very expected the the consistency you know ln release Pick. This map quite long, two and uh, two minutes and forty-one seconds. It's all about the the consistency and the a little bit of coordination release in there as well. Like when you think of uh, when you think of you know traditional comfortable kind of LN maps, you think of this. All right, it's, it's gonna be a, a little bit scuffed here, but don't worry, don't worry. That was just a resolution issue, and now we're back just in time. Oh, just there, no time wasted. Map just started. And it's gonna be LN1. Pick. 
picked by Swar. Now th this is gonna be expected to be on Swar's side because Swar, one of the best LN players in this tournament in fact, uh, according to the qualifiers. And we can already see it right now. Um, 99.83 compared to 99.30. Like, uh, we're already starting and we can see a huge gap in accuracy right now considering the fact that this is the the early stages and this is the consistency uh, LN pick so you know really good start by Swar right now look at Mouse Shell's UR it's very clear that Mouse Shell is releasing some of these at the at the late much later than Swire is like look at Swire very centered and honestly that's that's really concerning because look at the difference here 98.9 and 99.7 that's a very much night and day difference 10,000 points and the fact that Mao Xiao hasn't missed single beat here that's a big that's a very bad sign because typically when someone leads by 15,000 a miss already happened at that point right so the fact yeah. that they're this low on this map it, that's how big the accuracy disparity is mm, yeah Mao Xiao not struggling a lot in these LNs just the, the release is not in Mao Xiao's favor uh, at the very, uh, as we can see, like already 24 point deficit uh, and probably even increasing. Uh, like, like, a, like the, the accuracy by Swore though, 99 point, almost 80 in fact, 99.8, almost 80. And most shout the unfortunate miss, but you know, th there's not really much of a, much of a difference right now. Yeah, Mouse Chow unfortunate drops, and honestly, Swire, Swire just performing much better than back then. This is, this is really going to be a back and forth battle, it seems, with, like, we see Swire was much better on the Ellen side, and Mouse Chow, who we know is the better Rice player, at the very least right now, another miss from Mouse Chow, that's certainly not gonna help. While I think Swire is gonna be able to secure a full combo, maybe? Okay. Yeah, it's definitely gonna happen. You never know. Maybe some issue happens on the keyboard. Yeah, maybe maybe some random shield is gonna <laughs> interrupt Swar, but that's yeah, not that's, gonna happen. That's not too bad. Like look yep. at look at the uh, two hundred count. Eighty four to eight. Like that is that is a one is a ten difference. Oh, that, that is fuck. like almost like ten percent. Yeah, very good, very good accuracy from Swar. Like three hundred sixty two to two nine one three. That ratio really signifies. Almost, almost like a 500-300 count, like, difference. Like, yeah, if we were to look at the... If we were to look at the URs and all that... So at 132 for Swire, and for Mao Xiao at 238. Definitely very impressive. Yeah, very, very unstable Mao Xiao uh, when it comes to LNs, but very strong, very... Very stable by Swar when it comes to the LNs, like as expected to the to one of the best LN players in in tournament. By the way, we're just going to like we're just going to like restart the client for a little bit. Just we're gonna to be fix, waiting for just to fix some L's. Issues. Gonna be fixing the stream. I will be. Yeah, we're just we're just trying to get the skin to be fixed. Like there's some issues on the skin right now. Yeah, don't worry about that. That's no biggie. No problem, no problem. We're just, we're just getting everything sorted. Yep. So, just for everyone to know, the pick now is going to be Rice 2. And Rice 2 is the very jump streamy. Uh, uh, the very pick jump streamy. now is, as you know, Emily has cut off her bit, it's Rice 2. I'm going to tell right. my therapist on you. Basically, Rice 3, but harder, I and mean, it has some breaks in between as well. Rice 2 a little bit harder when it comes to you know, holding accuracy and combo, but other than that, it's not too different from uh, Rice 2, to be honest. So, this could be in most child's favor, considering of Considering what we saw uh, on Rice 2, I mean Rice 3, so...
yeah, right now, I mean, honestly, what I'm worried about here, again, consistency-wise, it looks like Mao Xiao may have the upper hand, especially on Rice. Okay, let's see if the changes were applied. I hope it is. If not, then that's fine. Okay, let's see. Okay, now, I don't know what happened to the skin. It's still the same. Well, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's marvelous. <laughs> but anyways, um, this map has more miss potential, more act decreasing potential. It's, it's really, really tough map. Uh, in certain parts, you can already see like these, these split trills. Like if you're not expecting these, which they can appear out of nowhere, they will, they will, you know, throw you off guard and it's just not something that you really want especially in a, in a map like this that's true wow swire actually doing just doing enough to be only right behind mao xiao 99.83 to 99.86 but when it starts to get dense this is when i'm expecting some act drops to happen on both sides but mao xiao still at a very solid 99.85 Swart at 99.83 waiting for the strike to happen like these parts despite being very dense look at how well everyone's playing both of them still getting at a 99.81 pace 99.82 like those trills those hands they're not affecting anyone any bit all right yeah. what is happening right now oh no yeah, we gotta... not, not client again <laughs> yeah we gotta have to wait for a bit some network issues but you know um yeah the there second half go. of the chart they c it would ruin people, and uh, we're gonna be seeing that soon. Uh, the client will be restarting a little bit, and here comes the second part, the second drop coming in. Yep, here we go. It's gonna a lot it more really denser. Oh, those the jump trills and oh. the ch side and the split trills, uh, they hit those. So there's gonna be more, but the, uh, at the moment, most Chow holding accuracy advantage, but. Uh, at the ending, there's going to be a jump trill and split trill, and it, it could there, there could be some choke potential here, but you know we'll see. Um, I'm surprised. I'm surprised Swire and Marshall are both holding together. The anchors are starting to get more complicated. The hands started to get even more there. Wait a second. You're gonna you're gonna tell me that we're gonna see two FCs. There will be what? There will be two FCs. I I would say. And oh. unfortunately Ooh. for Swar, Most Chow takes it despite holding the full combo and having an impressive amount of accuracy. Like the, the rice accuracy by Most Chow was pleasantly, surprisingly like better. It's just showing up like that. Most Chow with the V1 double S and Obviously, the ratio way better than 1 to 10. Alright, and now we're going with Crash Tracks to so this LMG, the Wild Card LN. Honestly speaking, this is, this is a very difficult file. Crash Tracks LM3. Yeah, this, um, the map very spiky. Uh, anything that isn't uh, a break in this map, it's kind of hard like very fast 220 bpm lens not something that i would say is easy to act the lens are pretty speedy so the brakes in this map not not too hard as i said but it's just that uh, when when the map picks up uh, its speed it it, re it it just keeps going It's only two minutes, so a bit short, but that would mean that accuracies and misses matter a lot more here. Let's yeah, see if true. the story stays the same and Swore holds on and you know ties us up. But that seems to be the story uh, when it comes to the islands. But we'll see if that's gonna happen. Again, we're seeing the trend here that Swar having a really good start and Mao Shao just not able to. Now, first few uh, seconds of the map, 
Moschow having some struggles in terms of holding that accuracy together. Swore holding a 99.82, very strong accuracy, just already one fourth of the chart and we already see like a, six, a 0 0.6 uh, accuracy difference. Like that's not, it's, it's a very high accuracy difference in terms of, you know, mania, the mania scoring system and all that stuff. Yeah, it's very much, like this, uh, this is a significant difference. Like even if Swire was in this one, especially if Mausha was going to drop more on these difficult Ellen patterns, you can see some swarms already, it's really going to not matter too much as compared to if Mausha wins. Because that lead is going to excite, wait, Swire actually wait, is as, that, after you. that is going to yeah. be huge. That is I mean, huge. <laughs> right after you said that, uh, you know, after uh, about the, the condition of Swore misses, uh, it's not going to matter much, and you, you're probably correct on that. It's not going to matter much. The lead is still on Swore's side. Uh, a few thousand points uh, came back to Mouse Chow, but the map's almost over. Like, already even smaller than one fourth of the chart left. Uh, it's going to be Swore. There's just, it's just too too high of an accuracy difference right now and what do you know it, it's just it's war just having just a better accuracy pretty good performance Maoshao definitely performed much better on this LN compared to the previous one 37 grades nothing to be ashamed of this file is really difficult to act so honestly really impressive that they're able to pull combo this with okay accuracy so yeah I mean still good performance I think it was just a little bit on the later end. Okay, let's look at the real quick. Yeah, it is indeed a little bit later compared to Swire, who's actually really early. Makes you think. Um, makes you think if banning Hybrid One was actually a good choice in this mat, in this matchup, as we've seen that the Ellen's not too friendly for most Chow here, but. Right now, it's gonna be most Chow's pick. It's definitely gonna be a rice map. Kinda gonna continue the rice versus Ellen storyline from this matchup. Yep, it's gonna be rice five. The mixed rice pick, from what I remember at least. Yeah, that would be wild card, mixed rice, whatever you wanna call it. This is essentially what this will be testing. Rainbow Archiver, um, I don't think it's that long, only one minute, like 45 seconds, yeah, but quite honestly short. this is a really, really difficult file, so. Mm, yeah, there's a bit of variety when it comes to, uh, you know, the patterning, the patterns here, there's some grace, grace notes, streams, jump streams, there's some jump jacks in it as well from what I've seen. But I, there's nothing. It's not. There's not many. You know, difference in difficulty in the entire map. Uh, the difficulty seems consistent in all parts of the map. So it's all about the the consistency here. And I guess you know some grace notes could catch them off guard here. But you know the, these players, I'm sure they could handle it. Well, I mean, still though, like, even if both players do have the cap capability and capacity for that, so far, Mao Shao has just been the much more consistent Rice player, and it's been evident really throughout the entire match. But right now, okay, it's actually really close. Look at that, like, these rolls, they are not helping anyone a single bit. I don't know who has the lead right now, like, if Swire drops a little bit, Mao Shao also does. It's literally fine right now, except right now Swar has a minor advantage. This yes. could really make things up. This could really switch some things up. And oh, both players hitting that anchor speed very perfectly. Never mind, both mm. players getting a 200! They, they dropped accuracy on those. This shows like this map not very friendly uh, compared to the previous Rice maps. Most Chow in a slight act disadvantage here. A few, <laughs> a few hundred point difference. That's how close this is. 
Wow, Swar keeping up with that accuracy, but time is running out for Mausha to catch up. Yeah, only All right, one fourth there... of the map left. Not much left in this map. Oh it's goodness. all it's all on to Swar right now. It's their map to lose, and will this be the first break point of know. the map of the match? We never know. Maybe a miss happens at the end, and that's really not gonna happen. And it's Swar! not gonna happen. Wow! Break point for Swar. That was unexpected. Look at that. That ratio was on Suarez's favor. Oh my goodness. That was rare. I did not expect that to happen. 992 in a pick like this is very impressive. 990 yeah. is as well though. Like gotta give credit to both players. The fact that they're getting 990s in these pool like it's nothing. Really good really good performance. But hey, here's the thing though, there are still hybrids here in this pool. And honestly, Mao Shao should have really banned an LN and not hybrid one in my opinion because you did say hybrid one was very jacky and like I think jacky maps are just something that Mausha may have had a better shot on and now Swar picking the protect as expected mm, yes yeah, securing or at least attempting to secure the match point for Swar giving them a huge advantage and forcing tiebreaker if Mausha manages to come back and it's gonna be timeline This map has quite a bit of a diff progression, first half, very easy, it's just that the second half, it's very dense, very dense Ellen, and I don't know if Mo Shao can do it, like, we've already seen how unstable he is when it comes to, uh, when it comes to the Ellens, and it's just really hard, really tough. I mean, yeah, I'm not surprised at how difficult this is gonna be to act. But honestly, at least in comparison to the other two elements, I'd say act-wise, this is gonna be the easier one because, like, it's really only density, and a lot of people. It's only treat, density. A lot of people treat this kinds of files as like jump stream and something like that. So I won't be surprised if the act here will be higher compared to the rest. That is a good point. But yeah, here we go. We're gonna be starting off with Ellen 2, Swar's pick. Um, of course, the first half, not too hard. I'm not gonna be surprised if they keep holding uh, this level of accuracy until the second half. There really isn't much to talk about, but you know, this map only 2 minutes, so not very long. Uh, so, you know, it's it's all in the, the accuracy and combo here. Why is this actually close? Alright, yeah, the... so the moment Swire makes any mistake, Mao Xiao is just right up there to catch up. 3,000 points of a difference, is it gonna be enough for any miss to make an effect? And here we go, this is when it starts to get really difficult, this is where the bulk of the chart really is. One break section, and this is gonna be make or break, really. And here it goes, it's very dense. Most Chow holding the combo, actually. Uh, slightly dropping, slightly releasing, or you know, t uh, hitting late, but swore just super stable with that. Like, Holding the 99.87 accuracy in the dense Ellen part, that is like, holding that uh, amount, uh, that amount of accuracy, very that, impressive. That actually beats my score, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. I swear, if Swar gets a 200, that would be really. Oh come on! No, that there would be go. that would be there pretty funny. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> But yeah, Swar holding the 99.86, very, very high standard to be holding. That's 1 to 10 ratio, very good. Mao Shao like, like both players had a really good FC. I mean, Mao Shao, of course, having a lot yeah. more 200s and a worse ratio, but Swar performed 
at the very best that they could have. And honestly, it's impressive at how close, like in terms of the scoring is. 4-2 is a really good performance for both players at least. Right now, I don't know what Suarez PB is. I think this has to be close to it. Okay, Rice 1. All right. Rice 1. Tigers yep, you, you, distribution. You have to pick the Rice maps right now. It's match point for Swar is it's going to be you have to force out the the best maps that you can ever play because it, one one map loss and it's already over. You're going to the losers bracket at that point. All right, the the jeep has you know uh, passed by quite a bit. Like uh, some some of those, you know. Oh come on! Admittedly, I really want to see the last map. All right, well, don't worry, we'll get yeah. there. We're getting it right now. Yeah, the the jeep, you know, emitting some, admittedly not so environmentally friendly, you know, smoke coming out of it. But hey. Alright, here we go. It has to be fixed now, hopefully. Like, we have to see the final map. We have to see what happens. Like, the final pick for mouse, I mean, because that is the final pick for mouse, regardless. Yep, there's. It's not starting yet, so, you know, you can, you can wait for a bit. Oh, and when we came back, then. It, the MP lit and the MP start just started, so we, we have to we have to see it now. All right, there we go, just in time, just in time. And here we go, final rice map of this match right now. Rice one. It's mouse Chaos pick, obviously, as this is gonna be the rice versus Ellen matchup. This is a speed pick, and a lot of players found this really difficult, which I cannot blame them. Here we go. This is where it starts to get crazy. In a few seconds, it just starts to ramp up into difficulty. Here we go. Yeah, we can see all those streams. Let's see if they can hold on. Swore well, dropping yeah. accuracy and missing. Dropping the combo on. as well. Most chow. Is that rice like like most child very well known for their very strong physicality when it comes to rice and now they've improved when it comes to you know the the accuracy department of rice and you can see it right here swore unfortunately another miss but it doesn't really change much it's just one already one half of the map and most child Still holding at 99.80. Like it, it's already like after that, after that very, very fast stream, it, it's very impressive. Wow, 99.8 on this kind of file. Really impressive. After Mouse Chow, Swire doing a really good job. These patterns are not easy. And at the very end, you're gonna be thrown out with a lot of awkward patterns. Let's see if both players can hold. Stamina is really going to be a big factor here. Anchors all the way. And no one is affected by that. Very impressive hold from both players. Yeah. Unfortunately for Swar. Oh, oh wait, we saw we saw a, oh, a, a little bit of a 50 <laughs> from most no, chat, no, but no, that's no. alright. That's client, that's client. Alright, there we go. It's already it's, running, they've running. already confirmed the win oh, here. Come on. You can't you can't end the, the pick like this. <laughs> <laughs> but that was that was a very strong going. Oh wait, no, that, there's no fifty. That was just client, but that hey. Was <laughs> fifty. That was that was not a fifty, and it was a, it was client. Don't that's worry. That's client. That's client. Nah, bro, you can't just do that. Client just baited us there. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Sync music, sync music. All right, there we go. We're fixed. We're good. We're good. So it's four three right now. What do you pick if you're in high school? Hmm. I would say hybrid three. 
honestly, Hybrid 1 was such a bad. That's not a good bad in my opinion. Like, that's not the one you're supposed to ban. If you're in Mel's Child's position at least, that's the one pick you have the best chance of getting a big fight off and just get swatted. I would say I'd say hybrid three because they you know the actually no I I I'd, I'd say hybrid two is the pick and yeah I guess I guess that's I should have said hybrid two but yeah it's because uh, they have it has some it's very flowy only has one force to one eight pattern so yeah you know, uh, quite you know, simple when it comes to LMs but it's also quite bursty and it has some LM density in there. And I'm sure that, you know, I'm sure that Swore is banking on that that LN density to trip up Mo Xiao. Although, we know that Mo Xiao can hold the LN when it comes to combo, but the act is just the problem. Quite unstable for Mo Xiao here. But for, for Mo Xiao right now, they have to show up in, in this hybrid pick because this would mean that they have this would put them into tiebreaker and as the mp start command has is put in this is the final map pick of this match hybrid 2 oxygen destroyer picked by swore the the final you know, the final pick for any player really as I said, but yeah. <laughs> right, so yeah. This hybrid I think I do think this is the best one for Swire. And honestly, as long as a full combo is held from both players, I would pick my I would take the chance of Swire winning this. But anything can happen, it is a hybrid after all. And now we already see some corner drops from Mouse Chow. That is not a good sign by any means. Like one of these yeah. moments. Yeah, Swar is banking on this part, uh, and not the not this part, but the LN density. Oh wait a second! That was a very that was yeah we saw some corner drops on Malshaw's side, but even Swar is dropping a few of them. So if that continues, actually Malshaw is the one hitting these LN sections a little bit better than Swar. Very interesting dynamic here right now, and now that we're on the right section, I think Swar is going to take advantage of these pretty easy. I mean, it is. Yeah, Mousha, I mean, take bad, yeah, this, yeah, this jump stream, this will be a good time for Mousha to build up and this is the and this next part is going to be what Swar is banking on, these LN densities. Yeah, that LN density, but Mousha slowly starting to figure it out. Very impressive. The fact that they're sort of still very high in the act. But Swar increasing that, like, the fact that they're not, he's not dropping on the rise is a big sign already. The fact that he's coming out of this Alan section, this theoretically favors Swar, but if any misses come out of here, like, these are so, so awkward LMs here. And still, Swar is actually increasing that accuracy very well. Now shall decreasing, we're seeing two full combos here, but that rise three break point decided the match with Swar winning. 5-3, a very close match, V1, never mind, not a V1 double S, uh, <laughs> a not, one, not a one V1 double one S. Hearted. I think that's a black flag, that's how that was a close. Flag. Yeah, that was a black flag here, a very close match here, just a, just a classic Rice versus Ellen matchup until Swore just broke through that, that Rice map. Uh, before then, it was just very even in in terms of picks, but yeah, unfortunate for Maoshao, but after this very close match here, they have to be sent to the loser's bracket. Very impressive work for both players, and we're going to be seeing our winner in a bit, who is going to be Swire0116. Congratulations on your victory. Well-deserved one. But man, anyone's going to face Mouse Chow this weekend. I bet they're very nervous for what's going to be happening because of how proficient and rice they were. And looking at the bracket... Yeah, yeah. Let's look at the bracket real quick. So they're 
so the opponent of Wired is going to be the winner of the match between the Livetta and the Wired. And right at the bottom, the loser of this match will be facing Moscow. And I don't think that's something that anyone would want. Because, man. Versus Sand. It's gonna be starting 19 minutes from now. Yep. So, uh, let's see your advice. Thanks so much, Lazer, for coming here and coming to me. Uh, thank you so much, yep. Lonely Player, for the referee. You wanna get anything on today? I mean, it's only 19 minutes, so you don't really, you don't really have to say this like it's a, a final goodbye, but. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Stay tuned. We're not, we're not going anywhere, I hope. I know, we'll be alive, though. We'll, Yep. in 19 minutes again so for the meantime stay tuned and we hope you enjoy this thanks so much for coming everyone and again see you in 19 minutes